In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating a restricted enrollment agent. An enrollment agent is a user who has the appropriate certificate assigned and has the ability to request certificates on behalf of other users or computers. The restricted enrollment agent has limited permissions, limits permissions of the enrollment agent for specific groups of users, specific certificate templates. So what we're going to do here is we've just come into our certification authority management console. We're going to right click on certificate templates and we're going to click on manage. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for enrollment agents. We'll just double click on enrollment agent. We'll select the security tab and we'll select add. Now we'll add a user called Ali and select OK. Right, then we need to apply some permissions and we'll turn on the tick box for enroll. So the read permission allows a designated user, group or computer to read the certificate and active direct direct services and what the enroll button does is that allows a designated user, group or computer to enroll for the certificate template. Now that's done, we'll just select OK. And we'll just close down this utility. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to right click. We're going to come down to new and we're going to go to certificate template to issue. And we'll come to our enrollment agent and we'll select OK. That's now what we'll do is we'll just move across to our client machine. On our client machine, we've logged in as Ali. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to launch up a Microsoft Management Console. We'll just run that as administrator. And what we'll do is we'll just type in administrator and stick in our password. And that will bring in the console. Now the thing is I've actually enrolled Ali as a auto enrollment agent. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to close this down. And instead what we're going to do here is we're just going to prove that we can also run this as Ali. So this time we'll just open it up and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add the certificate snap in. So come to file. All we'll do at this point here is add remove snap in. What we want to add is we want to add the certificate snap in. And then select OK. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to do this as current user. So that's correct. And we'll maximize this up a little bit. So the next thing to do here is we'll just right click, we'll come to all tasks and then what we'll do here is we will just come in and we're going to request the new certificate. So if we come down to personal and what we'll do at this point here is we'll request the new certificate. This just brings us into certificate enrollment wizard so we'll select next. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to select our auto Active Directory Enrollment Policy and select Next. We want Ali to have the Restrict Enrollment Agent. So we'll enroll. So that's now all successful, so we'll select Finish at this point here. Next thing we need to do here is just come back to our server. So on our server, what we're going to do is we're just going to right click on a datum root CA. We're going to come down to the properties. And then what we want to do here is we want to click on the enrollment agents tab. And on the enrollment agents tab, what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on the restrict enrollment agents. Because we don't want Ali to have everything. So we'll select OK at this point here. And what we want to do now is we just need to set up some of the permissions. So what we'll do here is we'll select the add. What we want to do here is we want to add Ali. And we want to remove everyone. In the certificate templates, we want to select add. And what we want to add here is we just want to add user. So what we'll do here is we'll just have a scroll down and we're just looking for user. And we'll select OK. We certainly don't want her to have all for certificate templates, so we'll remove that. And then what we'll do here is we'll just come down here and we'll go to the permission section and select add. And what we'll do here is we'll go for marketing. 
And what we'll then do is we'll just select everyone and click remove. So what we've done here is we're now allowing Ali to be a restricted enrollment agent. She can enroll now for use certificates for the marketing organization. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.